All right, today we're going to do the uh, demonstration of enumeration type in Java, I'm oh, sorry, in C++. Um, the enumeration type is a user-defined type. Um, it's, it's different, it's similar in a way, but it's uh, in structure. But it's different from the int, short, long, boolean, um, double, float, uh, it, but it does have some similar characteristics to uh, some of those types uh, in that um, you can assign values. Um, in fact, let's just uh, let's talk about um, if, if you had an int x equals 5. Um, the int is the type and the variable is 5 and five, the variable is x, and five is one of the possible values that the variable x can take on. X can take on anywhere from negative 2.4 billion approximately to a positive 2.4 billion uh, as an int, and it does depend on your machine. Uh, that's machine dependent, but um, for the most part, about 2.4, positive or negative. And and so um, we can define our own types. For example, if I want to do the seasons of the year um, as an enumeration type, I can define, and I'm going to do this as a, in a global sense, so I'm going to put it outside of the main function. So we're going to do enum, which stands for uh, enumeration, and I'm going to do the seasons of the year. And they would be inside curly braces, and they have to be in all caps. We're going to start with fall, um, winter, some spring, and summer. Okay, and by default, integers are actually assigned to these inside the computer's memory. It's, this is 0, 1, 2, and 3. But what I'm going to do is, for this particular demo, I'm actually going to assign... Um, this is a value of one. I, you can sign this a value of 10, 20, uh, any uh, integer greater than or equal to zero. You can assign this one four if you want to. If you want to pick up with the number four, and this will be one, four, five, six, like that. But we'll just uh, go from one, one, two, three, four for the for the seasons. And um, so uh, just like when you have a, a type like int, if you had int and um, you would uh, declare a variable, um, we have a seasons type instead of an int type. We have a seasons type. And with seasons, I need to declare a variable. And my variable is going to be able to take on these values of summer, winter, spring, and fall. And I'm going to uh, call that uh, variable um, season of year. Okay, no, not in all caps. Okay, let's try that again. Season uh, without the without the S. Okay, season of year, and this is going to be a season type. Seasons type. S E A S O. Okay, this is a seasons type. So just like I would declare int. X, I will declare seasons, season of year. And if I wanted to assign a value right now, I could, but I'll hold off on assigning a value. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and take this through a for loop. Um, for. Okay. And um, we've already declared seasons our variable. So, and we've declared we well, declare season of year as our variable, so I don't have to say um, season just like you would say if you were to start a loop, maybe int x equals zero, and we say season um, season of year. Equals well, we don't have to say season of year because we already defined declared the variable. Uh, so I'm going to say season of year equals. And it's not going to take on a value of 1, 2, 3, or 4. In fact, you can't assign an integer value to this particular user-defined variable because it's not an integer. Um, we can assign the word fall or any of those other um, four, one of, one of those four. 
season of year can only take on one of those four values. Okay? So we're going to assign it fall, and I want it to go through winter, spring, and summer in that order. And so the next thing I want to do is uh, do season, season of year is less than or equal to, and the last one is summer. Okay. Okay, and now the next part is a, is a bit tricky. Uh, normally, you probably think we can go um, season of year uh, plus plus and to increment the season of year, but uh, this is not allowed because what this is equivalent to is uh, season of year equals to season uh, of year plus, plus one. Season of year. Okay. Season of year plus one. So uh, that's what that that's equal to, and uh, it's going off the screen here. And let's do a character term. So uh, we can't do that in in uh, in the language. It's just not defined. Uh, we can't assign an int value to the. Um, this enum type right here. So uh, what we're going to have to do is do a modification. So what we can do is do season of year equals to, and we're going to have to do something in uh, in C plus plus that allows us to uh, do this increment of the season of year, and it's called uh, we want to do a, um, a static cast. We want to do a static cast, and we want to do a static cast of the seasons type. Okay, and inside of that, we're going to put um, the season of year variable, and we can say plus one. Now, uh, C++ is going to do the proper manipulation. Uh, of this, and we're telling it to hey, uh, what it, wherever I was with season, I was with fall. We want you to go up by one and go to the very next uh, case, which is winter. The very next um, uh, uh, data value, which is winter, and then we want you to uh, continue this through su uh, spring, and then the last one uh, will be summer. So we want you to stop with summer, and we'll I'll also actually try to print that out. Okay, so let's uh, see if we can actually print out um, this season of year uh, variable. And let's close this up. And so inside the loop, we want to do a C out. And season of year. Heck, let's just do a little uh, season of year is okay. And let's do an end line. All right, let's execute. Oh, I ran once. Okay. Um, so what we're getting is the season of year is one, two, three, four. Um, so what will happen is uh, it, it's printing out an integer value. It's not printing out that actual value of fall, summer, uh, fall, summer, winter, uh, spring. So um, in order to get at the uh, value, the actual variable, val variable value, we'll actually have to do something a little bit different. Um, and set. So let's go over here and let's uh, update uh, this. So we don't need this statement. So what we can do is do a um, case, a switch case. And so when we uh, get the value of season of year, starting with fall, we can do a switch. Switch, and we're going to switch season of year.
Okay. And all right, let's get the cases in here. Um, case fall. And let's just see this I'll tab over a couple of times. And let's do And we're going to actually have to put the literal value fall. And we're going to break. Right here we'll do a break. Okay, let's copy this one. All right, so when the season of year um, gets the uh, assigned a value, uh, and we're not going to do this statement, what we'll do is um, we'll just print out the fall, winter, spring, or summer, whichever particular case it is, and um, this could, uh, this last one uh, could actually be, uh, we've covered all the cases, but uh, technically you would have the last one as your default case, but we've covered all the different cases um, right here. But uh, we could say default. Okay. All right. And so, uh, if it doesn't meet any of these, uh, like when summer comes in, uh, that's the that's the only case I haven't covered. So it's always good to have a default case just in case something weird happens and uh, your variable uh, doesn't achieve one of these values. It it goes to a default value. Okay. All right. So. There we go. Um, so let's try this again and see what happens this time. Let's see. We, we should not get the numbers uh, 0 through uh, or actually 1 through 4. We should actually get an actual uh, word this time. All right. So let's uh, try this uh, again. Let's compile it. Uh, we have to compile error. Boy. Uh, oh, take the word case off. Huh? Just default. Uh, okay. What we're going to do is put an C out. Uh, my. Okay, so that will actually put some spacing between the um, between the. Uh, actually, go to a new line, so it'll look a lot better. So let's try this again. Let's execute. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we got uh, kind of hard to see off the screen. You can uh, once you get the um, everything set up for your enum case, uh, your enum type, um, and um, you can print them out through a for loop. This is a this is kind of a, using a switch statement, um, and uh, there you have it. That is the basics of an enumeration type in C plus plus.